go in the past, I'm in the future. You, you, you mad, they don't- Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, my name is Keila Trishan and I make videos on lifestyle, womanhood, and mental health. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back and thank you for your support. Okay, so I have a birthday coming up, okay? By the time you guys see this video, my birthday will have either already passed or it'll be in a couple of days. But basically, what I like to do every year is reflect on things that I've learned and just lessons that I want to take with me into the new year. So if you are interested and, you know, just kind of are curious, go on ahead and stay tuned. Okay, so full disclaimer, a lot of these things are things that I already knew, but let's just say this past year they resonated with me. So yeah, let's go on ahead and jump into the video. Okay, so the first lesson that I uh, learned this year and it resonated with me is just to stop stressing about things that you cannot control. I think it's pretty cliche and we hear it a lot, but sometimes it's easier said than done. I know for me, maybe it's because i'm a virgo i don't know but i am very i have a need to control things not in a crazy way but i like to be organized and i like to know what's going to happen next i like to just kind of have like an outlook of what is going on and so when things don't go the way that i think they should or when things don't go the way that i plan for them to go i tend to stress out and in my experience, a lot of times that stress is usually not even warranted, like once I get through the situation, if that makes sense. Like I'll be stressing about something going wrong that either has a very low chance of going wrong or just never would go wrong or, you know, things like that. So what I've learned to do is to only not stress, because I really try not to stress if I if I can help it, but I just try to only think about the things that are actually in my control. So if it's something that, you know, no matter what I do, I can't control it. I kind of just, just leave it up to God in the universe and hopefully it works in my favor. But with me just kind of letting go and letting God, I feel like I have just kind of learned to not stress as much. I've learned to kind of just take it easy a little bit. And it's just made me, I feel like a more pleasant person because I'm not always on edge. I'm very comfortable with things going the way that they are supposed to go. And I know that if it's something in my control and it went wrong, I'm, I'm okay with the fact that, you know, I probably could change the outcome. So I hope that all makes sense. Okay, so the second lesson that resonated with me this year is that my happiness is in my control. So I think that sometimes we get so caught up in the day to day and we look for like outside things, whether that be people, whether that be experiences or jobs, like we look for other things to make us happy. And what I learned this year is that happiness really is from within like you kind of have to choose to be happy on a daily basis now this is not to say that things aren't gonna go wrong you know you're not gonna have um, you're not gonna have tough days you're not gonna have stressful days you're not gonna have sad days it's not to say that because as a human being you're gonna experience every emotion but I think that every day if you choose to see the Sun as opposed to the rain And you kind of you start off better than you would have otherwise I know that several times in my life I've worked at jobs that I ended up completely hating some more than others and it got to a point where everything else in my life was going right but the job I hated so much that I almost anticipated things going wrong at the job anticipated how I would react to certain things and it would just make me super unhappy and just super when I look back, probably just unpleasant to be around because I, I feel like I was just in a negative headspace. So these days, I just try to take the good with the bad. I understand that there's a lot of situations that are in my control and I can change. And so if there is something that's gen genuinely making me unhappy, um, I will make the, um, the changes needed to fix that situation. So every day I wake up and I try to have a good day. I try to make sure that I'm looking on the bright side of things because at the end of the day, life is too short. And you know, 
stress can manifest itself physically and I've had that before with you know rapid heart rate or you know not being able to sleep and it's just not worth it so I just feel like if you consciously make that effort to be happy and just say today is going to be a good day life ends up being better it's almost like it, it's what you make it you know you can you can take the things that are thrown at you and react to it or you can take the things that happen to you and you can you can just kind of roll with the punches you know so choose to be happy okay so the third lesson that resonated with me this year is to stop getting upset with people because they don't do things how you would this one has been very tough for me like with family with friends with relationships everything like i used to have this idea of what you know people should do and a lot of times it had to do with loyalty or not even loyalty but just like like there's certain things that i would do for people that they may or may not do for me whatever so if you didn't act the way i thought you should act then i just automatically assume that you didn't care about me that you didn't rock with me as much as I rock with you or you're shady whatever the case may be and that's not healthy like that's not a good way to think I think that you have to give people grace and understand that not everybody is raised in the same way that you are not everybody has had the same experiences that you've had not everybody like not everybody thinks like you, and that's okay and people show they care in different ways and people show they don't care in different ways you know so there could be something that I do that someone says oh well you know I wouldn't have done it that way whatever and I wouldn't want to be you know judged because I, I do feel like everything I do I try to do it with the best intentions like I never have any like ill intent or malice and I just have to kind of learn to give people that same grace so that's what I have uh, adopted really in this past year. Just not getting upset with people for not doing things the way I think they should be done, but just giving people grace and being understanding that their idea of, um, of loyalty or their idea of doing things the right way may be different than mine. Now, there are some things that are obviously off limits, some things that we know universally are shady, but just because someone does something differently than you do, or just because someone doesn't do something exactly how you do it, doesn't mean that they don't care. It just means that they are a different person and that's okay. Okay, so the fourth lesson that I have adopted this year is if something doesn't serve you, you need to walk away. Now, what I mean by that. Now I've said in different videos, and if you follow me on Instagram, then you'll see I post like different quotes. And a lot of those quotes I'm talking to myself, but also just trying to share it with the world because I'm sure it resonates with other people. But I don't believe in cancel culture, right? So I don't think that, you know, if somebody does something wrong, you should just write them off or you shouldn't give people second chances. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is there are times where we deal with people, we deal with experiences, we deal with jobs, it could be a living situation, whatever. There are times where we deal with things that clearly are not serving us, that are clearly messing with our mental health, obviously messing with your mental health that interferes with self-care. All that jazz. And we will stick around because it's familiar, because we're afraid of change, like whatever it is, you need to get out of that. And that's what I learned this year. So I am more apt to, like instead of, for example, I've got some family members, uh, like sad to say, that are just toxic, right? And there were times in the past, you know, being younger, I would deal with people simply because they are family. No matter the fact that they have toxic behavior, maybe I've discussed it with them before that I didn't like the way they did something or whatever um, or they did something that was just completely shady that no one should do whatever there were times where I just simply dealt with those people because they were family um, it's like oh they're blood you know they get a pass but as I've gotten older I've learned that there are just certain people situations too but I'm talking about people right now there are certain people that I just cannot deal with for my own peace and for my mental health so I just, I wish them well and I hope that they, you know, live a long prosperous life, but over there, 
like I don't need to be around them because they have already proven to me that they don't have my best interests at the forefront and they're just toxic and I just don't have time for that. So I say all that to say, whether it be a human being, whether it be a job, whatever, if something does not serve you, if something does not bring you peace, if you have anxiety, like whatever the case may be, if you have any type of negative vibes on a constant regular basis with something, then you need to let it go. Okay, so the last lesson that really resonated with me this year is to not miss out on like experiences because you don't want to do them alone. So I have always been the type, like if I'm going to a new restaurant or if I'm going to, I don't know, a museum, whatever. If it's something new that I want to experience, I always wanted to have someone with, with me, uh, whether that be a friend, boyfriend, um, you know, family member, whatever. Like I always wanted to go with someone. And there have been several times in the past where I have wanted to go somewhere, I've had plans to go, and then someone flakes on me and I end up not going. And then, you know, life happens and I end up either not experiencing it or doing said event way later than what I had planned. So now at this age, I just don't care anymore. Like if there's something that I want to do, like that I truly want to do, I'm going to do it whether or not I have people with me. Now, obviously that's within reason. You want to be safe. I do understand that I'm a woman. So um, like I don't really have anything against traveling alone, but you know, with me having a son and you know, family, fiance now, I wouldn't probably travel alone like that. But if I had this mindset like several years ago, I probably would have done some traveling on my own. But going to a different restaurant or if I want to go to a certain store if I want to experience something and no one wants to go but I truly want to go I'm way more comfortable doing that now than I've ever been and it's really just the fact that like we all have one life to live and we all like you want to live it to your fullest right and you want to make sure that you are experiencing what you want to experience while you can there's gonna come a time where I mean hopefully you know we're all walking into our 90s and hundreds and all that stuff but if we're just gonna be you know honest they are you know later in life sometimes things get a little more difficult so when you do have the free time and you do have a bunch of people to go with you whatever maybe you're just not in the best health to do so so i say all that to say that when you are wanting to experience something don't be afraid within reason to go and experience it on your own the worst case scenario is you'll decide okay i don't like doing things on my own so i'll you know make sure i go with somebody else but i think that the biggest thing is just to try like you might find that you enjoy doing things by yourself my sister for example she is the queen of going places by herself you know if she doesn't have anybody else to go with her she doesn't have to ask anybody if they want to do said activity because she wants to do said activity so she can just book it and that is something that I admire and something that I have adopted this past year all right you guys so that is all I have for today let me know in the comment section if any of these lessons resonated with you if any of these things are still things that you're working on or if you adopted them a long time ago also let me know if you're a Virgo too I would love to see who's following me if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads but that being said you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you next time I'm in the future you, you, you mad that they don't salute you I need a bag, size is super They turn your bag, it's like I never